Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video in the Kotlin series. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to write comments in your programs. Alright guys, welcome back. Now I'm going to be teaching you guys how to write comments in your programs. So this is going to be a very short episode. So it's very useful when you write programs to leave comments. These are just notes that you have alongside your code that usually tells you what the code is doing. So a lot of the time we're going to write really complex programs or even simple programs that are doing things that if you come back to it later on, you may not immediately know what it's doing exactly. So without having to really dive into your code and stare at it for hours, you want to be able to understand what is happening. Okay. So what we can do here is if we want to say, leave a note telling us what this does, we can simply do slash slash. You can see that it grays out immediately. And we can say this prints out hello world into the console. Okay. So that's a single line comment just because it, it starts with a slash slash. And then everything after that will be um, simply ignored. It will be grayed out. So the difference here though, is that if we take this and just put it, here without the slash slash, this is problematic and it gives you errors obviously because it's saying that this is not valid code, right? So for it to be ignored, all you have to do is do slash slash. And so whenever this program is compiled and ran, it will ignore anything that is a comment and just only run the code. Hopefully that makes sense, okay? So that's a single line comment. If we wanna you know, add more comments, we can. So if we go up here, we can say this is the main function every program needs one and we can add more if you want to we can say um, this tells the program where to start running code okay pretty simple so those are two single line comments and that brings us to the next type of comments you can have a multi-line comment so if we want to do a multi-line comment it's also very simple we just do slash uh, asterisk or star however you want to say it and then press enter and it'll auto complete that for you and then within those two um, opening and closing comments, multi-line comment indicators, you can have whatever you know message you want. So you can say as much stuff as you want, you can add as many lines as you want, and all of it will be ignored by the compiler, okay? So that's a multi-line comment. Those are also very useful. And another cool trick that you can do is if you have you know a piece of code that you really don't wanna run at the moment anymore, you wanna save it for later, you just highlight it and then do control slash and this will just come it out automatically for you, okay? So if you have multiple lines, you can highlight all of that and do control slash and it will do the same thing. That's a very cool trick and you can do control slash again to uncomment it, there we go. Awesome, so that's how you can do comments within Kotlin to leave messages for yourself, very, very helpful. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. In the description below, I'll leave a link to the code for this episode so you can check it out. You can bookmark it, come back to it later. If you forget any concepts or you just want to review the concepts I taught in this video, I'll mark everything up with comments so you can come back and read the code without having to rewatch the video, although your reviews are greatly appreciated. So yeah, I'll leave a link for that in the description below, so make sure to check it out. And another thing is I'll leave a link to our Discord server. It's a big community for programmers. So you can ask for help on your programming projects if you're stuck on something, or maybe you can get some new friends. If you don't have any friends, there's lots of people here. It's growing really fast. You can get, uh, you can find lots of people who are passionate about the same things as you. For example, if you like Minecraft uh, Spigot development, uh, you can find people, lots of people who like that. If you like C++, you like Java, if you like web development, it's a really, really big programming community. So uh, feel free to join. There's a link for that in the description below. And the last thing I want to tell you is that if you want to support this channel, you can click the join button below this video and you can join this channel as a member for as low as 99 cents a month and you can cancel at any time. You get some cool perks like early access to all of my new videos, a cool rank on my Discord server like you see right here on the side, YouTube members, and also you get to see yourself on the screen like you see right now. So if that sounds cool to you, feel free to join. If you don't want to, that's fine. If you can't, that's okay too. Um, I really just uh, appreciate you watching the video anyway. And uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. And that's it. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And peace.